Hey y'all, it's me, Beauty Bay Cat 80. So I just did a video prior to this on how to do a five minute summer face. So if you're wondering why I'm kind of halfway done, that's what it is, that's what it's all about. Um, yeah, I just did half the face. But um, I'm going to actually do another video right now for all my naturalistas in the place, showing you a little bit about um, how to just kind of um, refresh a uh, wash and go. So I have a wash and go right now that I did this morning. And it's really dense, as you can see. It's super, super dense. Um, it's just really, my, my hair dries, it just dries straight to my scalp like a big old carpet, and it's so thick. You can even get your fingers in there, they'll get lost, right? So I'll show you. I used a little bit of, you know, my Miss Jessie's curling cream, uh, cleansing cream, and um, the shampoo conditioner, this, the one in the blue bottle or whatever. And then I used a little bit of the Hello Hydration as well. Um, I love it, and I used a little bit of the Trader Joe's um, Tingle Tree sh t uh, Conditioner and Shampoo, because I love those. So I washed my hair with that, did that, came out of the shower, put a little bit of Mix Chicks Leave-In Conditioner. This is so good. It is worth all of the $19 for the 10 ounces. It's so good. Um, this, immediately when I put it in my hair, I get little curls right away. It's just, it's so good and it's so soft, and my hair always feels soft. And it doesn't leave a greasy feel, it doesn't dry down white. This is a great must-have product. I put some of that in my hair with, um, a little bit of olive oil in my hair at the same time. Then I went ahead and did a little overkill and put a little bit of, um, Kinky Curly Not Today in my hair as well. This was like maybe eight or nine hours ago, actually. Um, and I combed it out, brushed it through with, um, two brushes that I have here. These two. Um, yeah, so I use these two in my, with going at it and getting out all of the, you know, tangles and whatever. And another good brush that I really bought, that I bought, like, for, like, $2, is this bad guy. This one is so hard, but it's so good, and it really, when I want to slick it back, it takes care of it like nobody's business. This is very good. I didn't use this one today, though. Um, and then, I, of course, I went ahead and put a little bit of, um, Kinky Curly in there, very little. I didn't do a whole lot of any of these products. I just put the perfect mix so that it wouldn't dry all funny. And it didn't dry white, which is good. And, of course, I used a little bit of Echo Styler as well. So maybe a teaspoon to, you know, a teaspoon and a half of each. Between my hands, rub it through, rake it through my fingers, all that good stuff. So now, the thing is that the hair is so, it's dry, okay, it's not wet, but it's definitely, you see the curl definition, you see it popping through there, however, you know, I'm not going to go out like that. I need a little bit of something to soften it up a little bit more and make it, open it up. So I'm going to take a little bit of the, um, you know, and I put that much in my hair. That's the olive oil. Get my palms all ready. Squish. Squish, squish, squish like nobody's business. Squish it through. Then I'm going to take a little bit of my sweet almond oil, which I just like. I don't exactly know what it does, but I like how it feels. Put a little bit in my hair as well. And same thing. Palm of my hands. Squish it through. You know, just get in there all good. Massage it in my scalp, just like that, just to refresh in this wash and go. When you do products and you have a TWA and it doesn't go anywhere but sit on your head, you just want to, like, make it look a little lived in, you know? That's what I'm doing right now, just kind of pulling it out with my fingertips, breaking it up. And that's that. Um, I may in the morning spray it with a little bit of water, but I don't want to re-wet it too much because then the curls are going to go a little bit funny and do some weird stuff that I don't like. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, you know. That's the curls up here, like, and that was a little Echo Styler and a little bit of Pinky Curly and the brushes that I showed you guys. So, um, it definitely gives a little bit of curl definition, and, um, that's it. But I hope that, um, everyone's doing well. I just wanted to do a little quick video about my hair. And you see, there's, you know, nice curl definition. It's just that I'm trying to do something different with this hair so that it grows and it doesn't look like the same thing every day. I try not to, um, I, I wet it in the shower, but not all the way through. I put the mixed chicks in there, like, almost every day. Um, and I try not to disturb it by combing it too much. Um, I, I comb it, like, once every, like, a good comb through. 
through like once every two weeks or so, like a good comb through. You can really get in there. Otherwise, I tie it down. I try to keep it simple. I fluff it with my fingers. Try not to disturb it too much so that when the hair does come out, when I do it, um, it's coming out from the root, which you see that little white bulb. So I always look for that. I feel for little fairy knots. I'm good at, you know, weeding those out now. So I'm taking a little bit more care with my hair, which I'm very proud of. So that's it. I'll use TWAers. This is what the hair looks like. And really get in there and oil your scalp with whatever, you know, because my scalp is dry. And I just try to use a little bit of that. Um, and I may show you what I do in the morning when I get ready for work and how I dress it up. Other than that, peace out, ladies.